Guys, um, most like no gear when you don't have a grip and start get sweaty and you don't really have the control of the mat. When I say the control, you don't have like the uh, set grip and you have to move with the sweaty. We ha you have to hit the position when you're already in like a momentum. You're moving forward, moving forward, you're moving forward, move back. You're moving forward, 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 you're moving forward. Just do that. There's no, there's no control, there's no pause, there's no like a grip uh, set to make the sweep. You just kind of, you just go in the momentum. And a lot of the time, that's what you gotta do. Okay? You gotta just be roll the, the scenario, just kind of like go forward. And we work on this. You just don't have a grip, you just do it. But sometimes you still cannot have the, 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 the arm. And I'm looking for anything. I'm looking for this, I'm looking for this. I'm looking for this. Obviously, I'm looking to get close if I have to. But sometimes you just don't get that. You don't get that because the other person maybe they just really get their arms out. And I'm looking for that. I'm looking for this, and, and then you end up kind of like just pulling the other person close to you because you went to the sweep and then you lost the arm. Of course, you can always kind of reset. You can always kind of like see that. But you already you already went there. You already kind of try to get a grip and the person just keep doing this. So sometimes if you hit the sweep and the arms, there is no hold, the arms free, you, you better just hold the other person close to you, at least so they can, they cannot kind of avoid you. At least like they're very close and they can take your time to do what you have to do. So I'm looking for the arm, I'm gonna get a grip. You can just pull him closer. So now at least he cannot move away from me. He's gonna have to be with me. From this grip, I love to get a dog on the hook. The dog on the hook will set me up to a lot of things. But sometimes you don't have the dog on the hook, he don't let you connect. If he doesn't let you connect, like, if he doesn't let you connect here, it's very easy to connect here. This is much closer. You can get much closer with this than here. Then here, my, my head doesn't even connect. But over here, I'm much closer for him. So, I wish to get the open hook. I wish to be that close. I wish to sit up. But if you don't have the double under, you don't have the grip to slip, just get a hold of him. And if the hole doesn't come with double under, you get a hold on top. So I got over here. I was able to get over here. And then he just stuck in his elbows, you know. He just like a... He doesn't let me pull him. He doesn't really kind of give much control. And that's when, if I don't have his elbow up, I have the connection. I hold him close to me. That's when I'm kind of, I just go here. And the reason I go here is not just to get more control. The reason I go here is so I can kind of like get his arm out of the floor. Go back, go back, go back. So sometimes with just one hand, it's hard to lift. So I can go on, on the front of your face, or I can go over, whatever you feel like you have enough uh, control to do it. And then from here, I start walk to get his arm out. And then if I have a chance, I can just kind of flip him all the way from here. But you open his arm, and because you only have the arm, I don't think you can hold him by just the arm. So he probably is gonna start moving. If he start moving, you have to move quick because you're losing control. If he's moving, if he start waiting, soon he's gonna start shake it out and move out and then you're gonna lose the control. So if I have a chance, he try, he, he try to move from me, I connect over, I try to get his arm over my shoulder, I couldn't get his arm over my shoulder, palm to palm, elbow, like it most like cross face, on front of his face, and then I get his arm over. If I have a chance, I can just turn all the way from here. If, if he starts moving away from me, I have to go with him. I cannot hold him. There's no grip that is gonna hold his arm. If he starts moving away, he's gonna come out. So, as soon as he starts moving away, as soon as like, he, he sit up, as soon as he kind of move back, I sit up with him. And then from here, I can go again, with more momentum, come back. Or I can just kick and just turn at the same time. That grip is good to keep hold. If you have a chance, 
land with the grip, and then when, when you start screaming a little bit more, you can go to the, to the head. You don't have to release him right away after you land. That grip will be good to kind of land, and then once he really starts screaming to come out, you can go to the head. So, I was moving forward, I was moving forward, I couldn't get anything. He's moving out, I just reach over. I couldn't connect my hands. Now I connect my hands. Palm to palm, elbow. Now I have a long walk to get his arm over my shoulder. Even if he would try opening up his arm, get up over my shoulder. I have to move quick. If this has to come up, I can stretch and get on top. Keep this grip. Whenever he starts moving, there'll be a good time to go. Let's go try guys. Guys, I really want you guys to feel you have this. So, because we just did that once, I want you to try kind of go over this. I was looking to like on the hook. He could, he, he, I couldn't connect, I couldn't control, I couldn't get anything like a hold. And then I pulled him and then I realized that it's coming out, you know, it's coming out and I have no connection. This is easy. Once you reach over the shoulder, it's easy. But even over here, guys, if it's too low, um, once I go to the arm, there's no hold on my head. You know, uh, can you swipe it on? Oh. My head, my head, I cannot control. Even, even if it's like this, even if I, if I tuck it, his hand is gonna go in front of my face. So when I get here, if I have a chance to kind of like pull him over before, I can lift a little bit and I scoop him forward. I think I, if I could sit up and get him really close to me, this was gonna be better. So the same grip, but I have much more like a head at the same line than him than, than here. So in between the position, when you have a chance to get him like closer, that will be better. And then from here, we have this. And as he's open his arm, because open, open up, as he realizes he has no like a, a pulse, he's gonna try to open his arm. I'm gonna try to get his arm really close to me. And I tuck my head, I sit up, I make no room over here, guys. Everything is just kind of like super tight. So open, I'm just gonna stay with you guys. There's no room, there's no like a nothing between coming out of it. Everything is just super tight. And then from here, I can just lift. Or if I have time, this is like a, a, I can just lift if I don't have much time. But then if I have time, if I know he's stuck, he's not, he's not sleeping out. He's not sleeping out, he's stuck. I can take my time and kind of like break down the sweep and I don't have to just sit down quick and go to the position. Um, more control is better. Um, less sweat is better. But you can always have everything. So sometimes, even if the move is not perfect, you can kind of make work because you make quick. You, you, you do before you lose the control. So that's what I was trying to say before. If this is fine, I still think I can sweep him over here. But if I, if I got him over his foot and then I go there like a, I'm much more chance of success. But I wouldn't waste the chance if he was low, I was still gonna try. But I go over there and try to sweep over here. If you got to one point, like I said, you gotta make work. You start lifting and open his open. If you open his leg, if you open his leg, in that meantime you you gotta kick. Come back. Just make sure. You see, if you get over here. He open his leg. In that meantime, you try to kick his leg because he felt stuck. He felt like he he, he doesn't have the arm base, but then he he catch up with his leg. And once you get his leg, you you still can go there and try kick. So let's try to do whatever you, you did before, but adding more of that control. That control to finish, and that control to begin the position. That's what I guess.